All right, so Mr. Kasperzak here. We are going to show you the basic expectation of the Rock Cycle Lab for tomorrow. Um, a couple of things that I will refer back to is uh, this rock cycle that we have taken pictures of. We've showed it. You guys cut some stuff out and glued it into your interactive notebook. Um, notice that each rock type, A, B, and C, uh, to save some space on here, uh, those are the rock types. So uh, A is igneous rock, and then B, of course, is sedimentary and C is metamorphic rock. So the main thing to take from the rock cycle part is that any rock can be turned into the other type of rock through different geological processes. So we're gonna talk about weathering and erosion and then compacting and cementing. And we're gonna talk about heat and pressure. And then of course, melting, which ultimately results in cooling and crystallizing back into rock type A. So. Just to start out, here's some of the supplies that you're going to end up with for tomorrow's lab. Now I've picked green, red, and blue as my rock types, and we have an aluminum foil piece. You also get a plastic knife. Uh, we do have a hot plate. There's gonna be one in the back of the room and one in the front of the room. Now this water is going to be hot to the point of boiling. Uh, I know we're not in a science lab, but make sure that you treat this as a science laboratory tomorrow for safety purposes. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and get started, the first thing that you're gonna do is each of the people in your group um, are gonna have a different rock type. Now you may have a brand new crayon, you may have one that's been broken or partially uh, already used, but that's okay. So we're gonna make some small piles of sediment. So real gently what you're gonna do is take your plastic knife and just kind of shave down. And what you're trying to make is sediment from this type of rock. Now. When we started out with this rock, notice there's no other colors. It's very smooth. It has very, very small crystals. So we're gonna call this an igneous rock. So the geological process that we are currently doing to the rock is going to be weathering and erosion. So I'm gonna get a very small pile of my blue rock going here. And then remember, you're gonna have a lab partner doing this at the same time as you. So this will go a little bit faster because there'll be three people working instead of just one. So now I'm going to weather and erode my green rock here. And remember, what kind of rock did we start out with? That is correct. We started with igneous rocks. And I got a small pile here of my green rock. And finally, we'll do the red. The objective here is to lightly push on the crayon to get it to erode and weather. Don't push too hard. If you do get a piece of rock, uh, sample that's already used uh, just do the best you can remember we got a lot of kids using all this stuff in all different classes so now what we have is a small pile of sediment now referring back to our rock cycle uh, over here we can see that we started with igneous rock and we just did the process of weathering and erosion so the next thing to make a sedimentary rock we have to compact and cement this rock so there's two ways you can do that. You can do it individually for each pile. And notice that all I'm doing is just gently compacting each one back together. But I think it's a little bit more entertaining if you actually mix the rock sediments together. So that's what we're gonna do now. So we're gonna take and just compact our sediment and this is gonna be our sedimentary rock. All right, when you take a good look at it, notice there's several rock types. You can see the grains very easily. Uh, you can also see that there are small pieces that were mixed together uh, that would represent fossils, organic sediment, those kinds of things. All right, so this is your sedimentary rock right there, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we have a sedimentary rock. We are going to uh, make a metamorphic rock. So what we need to do to make a metamorphic rock, if you refer back to our rock cycle, is we need to add some heat and some pressure. So this is how we're going to do this tomorrow. We're gonna kind of make a little boat with your sediment. And you're not gonna actually let it touch the water, but just for a moment, let it sit over on top of the water. What we're doing is we're allowing the heat from the boiling water to slowly warm up our sediment. And here in just a second, what we're going to do is we're actually going to 
compact our aluminum together. Now you can see that our sediment is slowly starting to melt. So that's our heat. So now that we've seen some melting, what we're gonna do is take this off and we're going to fold this. You can fold it once or twice. And then all you're trying to do is just push your sediment together now to form metamorphic rock. All right, and then when we unfold it, I'm gonna use my knife to gently kind of peel this up. All right, you can see that the heat and pressure have started to cause these to melt together and started to form a new type of sedimentary rock, which is gonna be called a metamorphic rock. You can see the grains have started to smooth out a little bit. You can still see some pieces uh, of the grain, but the biggest objective here is through heat and pressure, you can start to see the new rock. So this now is our metamorphic rock. So our last portion, what we're gonna do is we wanna completely melt our rock. So we're gonna come back over here with our little boat and we're gonna let it just barely touch the water. And notice it doesn't take very long at all for the crayon to almost immediately melt. Notice you can see the grains, you can see the, the layering, you can see uh, as the crayon actually starts to turn into liquid form, which would be representative of lava or magma, we have our new rock forming. Now, we are going back to a very smooth surface. Um, the colors are all starting to mix. You can tell it is really liquidy, which is perfect. And so you can see, I'm just kind of moving that around to show the liquid effect, and you can see how smooth it's getting. When I take this off in just a second, we don't even have to apply pressure anymore. Uh, what we're doing is we're just going to let that cool. And it'll take just a second here. And so now we've gone back to our igneous rock. Now when we started with the original igneous rocks, right, it was our crayon in pure form. So we had just that color. Um, we know that we could erode it down with our knife, which is the process of weathering and erosion. We can compact it and cement it to turn it into a sedimentary rock. After that, we used gentle heat and some pressure to turn it into metamorphic rock, which is down here, uh, which is represented uh, by turning B into C. And if you'll notice, we can finally do the melting and the crystallizing and cooling, which results in our new sedimentary rock. I'm sorry, I'm our new igneous rock. I'm gonna gently peel that up and you can see that our new igneous rock is now a combination of our three original colors. And if we wanted to, we could do this all over again. We could start this cycle and we can scrape this back apart. And through weathering and erosion, we can break our tiny pieces back down. And we can repeat this cycle as many times as we want to. So that's gonna be our rock cycle lab using crayons. So again, things to think about are, make sure you know the three names of the rocks, uh, metamorphic, sedimentary, and igneous. Make sure you know the geological processes by which they form. You will get to use your interactive notebook tomorrow. We have a lot of notes in there that are gonna be really useful. Uh, make sure you come to class prepared so you can do this as many times as you like uh, to show the cycle and that you understand the cycle. So, should be a pretty easy lab and we'll see you guys tomorrow.